Hello, this is Stoman from Tech Tips with Stoman. In our last video, we talked about backing up one folder to another folder using Carbon Copy Cloner. Today, we're going to talk about a similar thing. We're going to talk about backing up a folder to what they call a disk image. Disk image is basically a big file package that contains all your files on the inside. The advantages of disk image, it's one thing. So if you need to copy it to somewhere, you can do that. Also, disk images support encryption for backup purposes. If you have sensitive files like fi um, financial documents, you would want to use disk encryption, especially if you're transporting them or you're worried about someone looking into it or grabbing your backup. So once again, we have Carbon Copy Cloner open here. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna use the Lacy Images folder here and this time though, we are gonna set a backup to back it up to a disk image on this drive here. So we're gonna click on the two lines here. We're gonna click new backup task. We're gonna call it C image backup disk image. All right, now that's set up, we're gonna select our source and we're gonna click here. We can choose folder or we can just go to our source folder and drag it on top. Now, here we go with the next step. This is where it gets fun. When we select the destination in our previous video, we just had the folder created and we dragged it there. We're not gonna do that this time. We're gonna create a disk image. So we're gonna do new disk image. We're gonna choose its location. This one happens to be going on that G Drive mobile. And we're gonna call it Let's See Images. It's the name of the folder we're gonna do. We do, there's a couple things. There's a read only disk image. And if we click on that, you're gonna see that you're not gonna use a read image only because of the fact that it needs to have double the storage to convert it to read only it has to write it and then convert it to read only preference is read write sparse disk image that way you can read and write into it just by opening it up here's the trick here we can do encryption and we're just going to you have two encryption methods here we can do one or the other we're just going to do the 128 for now we're going to click on okay now here's where we want to set up our password for this and of course, password would be password. If you wish to store this in your keychain, it is recommended as you won't lose it. But if you don't want to, you worry about security, obviously don't. And then you'll have to type it in every time you want to run your backup. We're going to click on OK. <clears throat> Safety net is on, just like previous. So we get um, deleted files will be saved. Our schedule here, no schedule specified. We're going to click on this. And we're going to do this hourly again. We'll be fine. And of course, same theory here. We can set up hourlies. We can set up everything in here. Defer another tax. We're going to hit done. Now we have running everywhere. We're not worried about shell strip. And prune safety night. If our guys are older than one day, you can have different settings in here. When free space is usually what I'd recommend. Or if you want to keep archive sizes or if archives are older or never. Now, if you do never, of course, if you fill up your drive, you're not going to be running any more backups. So I would do less than free space is auto adjust one gigs is fine. Then we're going to hit save and then we're going to run this. Now, similar to the last one, except for now, you see, we created a sparse disk image bus bundle right here. So it's creating the image first. So the only challenge with running a sparse bundle is, of course, it is going to be a little bit slower at writing to the sparse image, especially a encrypted one. But we're going to let that run and show you what that looks like at the end. Now, as you can tell why we're getting close to completing our first backup here, we actually have a file size here because it's one big file and it's 19.48. It's going to be a little bit bigger than the file size of the folder as there is formatting and just usage of this, you know, the creating the file itself, especially with encryption. So here we are, our backup is complete. As you can tell, it was a 19.54 size folder and it was 20.595 total size. So now we've got a backup of this folder inside this disk image. How we would utilize this disk image is fairly simple. We have this disk image here, we double click on opening it. We're gonna type in the password we set during the backup process. You can save this password or not in your keychain. Once we hit that, You'll see it mounts right on our desktop as an image. And here are our files. Here's everything hiding right there. We're going to close that out. Just by eject. 
And since I didn't put the password in my keychain, anyone goes to open it, they need to hammer in the password. Hope this makes sense. The reason why I like sparse dimension image backups is because it is a simpler way to organize your backups because you have all these images with what they're backing up to. And they're pretty sweet and they just work. So that's stone, that's a carbon copy cloner, sparse disk image bundle backup with using carbon copy cloner. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Comments are always welcome. Any questions, please leave them below. Thank you. Goodbye.